Hi, it's Brian Kirchhoff, and thanks for joining me for my very first video talking about art. Today, I wanted to introduce myself and talk a little bit about the abstract art that I do, the mediums that I use to create that abstract art, and kind of what it is that makes me tick art-wise, because you don't want to know what makes me tick otherwise. Um, for starters, let's talk about the mediums that I like to use. I work in acrylics, acrylic paint specifically. Um, occasionally, I'll throw in some ink because I find it interesting to um, add some different effects using plain old ink. Typically, it's uh, India ink, which is just black ink, the kind that you used to have in your little pens going to Catholic school. Remember in those little cartridges? For those of you that are over 55, 60, maybe. Oops. As far as the things that I like to paint on, I prefer hard surfaces, um, things like these boards. This is something that I did recently. This board is, it's canvas attached to a board or a, a very, very dense piece of cardboard. It's, it's, it's pretty firm and it's, it's easy to work with because I tend to put a lot of pressure on the, on, on, the, on the surface when I'm working. I'll rub things on or I'll rub them off with a rag or I'll, I'll press things down to, to create a pattern on top of, my, on top of my, my canvases. I also use raw canvas. If you can see right here, this is actually a roll of canvas. Um, it's, well, that one looks like it's about uh, six or seven feet tall. And uh, I just unroll a bit, cut it off, and lay it out on my table here. And then I've got another hard surface to work on. Sometimes I'll use board, like this for example, is attached to a board. Occasionally I will use this uh, canvas that's already mounted, but as you can see, it, it gives when you work on it. See how it, it pushes in. And, and the way I work on things, and typically the size of my pieces, they're larger, so there are stretch bars that crisscross in the back, and if you push too hard, those, those, those wooden bars will show through in your work and you don't want that. So when I paint on, on canvas, I will um, I'll go ahead and create whatever size that I want. It's typically not a standard size, but then I'll um, go out in the garage and I'll, I'll create some stretcher bars to where you stretch the canvas around the wood and you staple it on there. And, and that's, um, that, that's my method, because um, I don't like the give from a stretched canvas. So now let's talk about abstract art and why I've chosen that as my specific way of, uh, you know, my artistic work is, is definitely abstract. I don't do puppies and kittens because I can't draw those. I can't paint them. I can photograph them and that's about it. But I've always been drawn to unusual shapes, unusual patterns, color combinations, um, weird things that you'll see on the street as you walk down on the street you know, old faded uh, ads on the sides of buildings from the 20s and 30s that are nothing more than just, um, you can barely make out what used to be there. Um, for years, I've always thought, man, I could take a picture of whatever it is that I'm looking at, put it in a frame, and it would be art. And it could be anything. I mean, it could be a picture of a curtain in just the right light. It could be anything. But I have this eye for what I consider to be interesting. Sure, I like puppies and kittens and landscapes and all that stuff, but that's not my forte. I do things that are, I think they're just visually interesting. And if you're into abstract art, you understand what visually interesting is. It either talks to you or it doesn't. Many people will look at this and say, you know, I don't get that. Many people will look at this and say, I do get that, or that really talks to me. Not everything I do talks to me, but um, you never know who's going to like what it is you come up with. This is something that I put together this week. It's yet untitled, but I really like the flow. I like the black on the white, uh, the hint of green color I find fascinating. I like this open space and I've got some lines in there to draw attention to different parts of, of this work. This one's about 11 by 14. I like that piece. Um, here's a much more colorful one that I did last week and it kind of has a little bit of an energy flow to it. You can see things moving towards this circle and away, and the yellow really stands out. <laughs> it can go either way. I painted it like this, but um, a lot of my artwork, as a matter of fact, I don't sign because um, some of the stuff that I do, I think, can work either way, either horizontally or vertical, or you can turn it upside down and it'll still work. Funny story, my wife and I bought a painting at an auction one time, and 
when we were looking at it, it was displayed upside down. And the gentleman's signature was very hard to see on the painting, um, but we really liked the painting. So we spent, I don't know, seven, eight, nine hundred bucks on this thing. And it wasn't for a couple of years that we realized, you know, this is upside down. And we turned it upside down, or we turned it right side up, and we realized what the painting was. It was an abstract image of a woman. And it was, it was beautiful. But once my wife, for example, realized that it was something versus just an abstract piece of imagination, she lost her interest in it which I found interesting. Anyway, back to what I do. Um, my work varies. Obviously, I just showed you this. There's a lot going on on this. There's very little going on on this. And I really like this style. This is what I refer to as point to point, for obvious reasons. You, know, you have your dots, there's points at the ends of some of these lines, there are points within some of the lines. Some of it's colored in with uh, yellow, green, and others not. Here's a black and white version of something very similar, point to point. You can see what I'm talking about. There's movement, left to right, up, down, and circular. And there are terminated lines with points and things of that nature. Here's a busier version of a point to point that I, uh, that I was messing around with just, just for fun. And there's a lot of movement in these paintings. Um, tiny bits of color to add additional interest to what's going on. And here's a larger version of something else that is uh, also in my point-to-point -point series. So it's just a little bit of an example of some of the things I do. Um, back to this other canvas that I had showed you recently. This was actually a study that I was doing because I had this idea that I wanted to create a large piece of work with some flow. I really like flow in my energy flow in my work. And that's pretty much what I have here. And I created a, I think it's a six foot by four foot version of this. It's upstairs hanging in my, in my dining room. Um, the only difference is it doesn't have this circular energy with the, with the things coming off. But I put this together first to get an idea of how this would look and is this something that I wanted to spend all the time and the effort and actually the money to go ahead and, and create on a large scale. And I like this so much that I went ahead and did it. So this was a study to figure out, well, I can go ahead and do that on a large scale and I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So that's just a basic idea of, of my attitudes towards art and um, the different styles that I, that I use. Um, I'm going to be launching my website live in just a day or two. And when I do, I'm going to be giving away I have a version of it. I'm going to be giving away one of my point-to-point -point prints, and it's, uh, I think, 14 by 16 or 12 by 14. It's a gallery-wrapped print, and it looks really cool. I have the original hanging in my kitchen. Um, everything I have, obviously, is for sale, which is the point of these videos. Um, I welcome you to check out my website, briankirchhoffabstracts.com. There you can buy my original art, and you can also buy prints of a good portion of my art. Some I don't want to have prints available, others I'm perfectly fine with. But please check it out and please sign up for my, my, uh, my newsletter. Go to my website and sign up for that. You'll get a coupon for 20% off um, any print purchase, which is a pretty good deal. But anyway, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Um, check my Facebook, uh, my Facebook page out often and also my Instagram account. They're both So What Is Art, one word. So facebook.com slash so what is art, instagram.com slash so what is art. I update those things on a regular basis. Again, thanks for joining me today. I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. We'll talk again real soon. Thanks.